Why is everyone suddenly ditching ChatGPT for Gemini? Tonight, the internet is fighting about one question. Why is everyone suddenly ditching ChatGPT for Gemini? Well, let's start with the spark. Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff, one of the biggest power users of AI, dropped this bomb on X. Holy shit! I've used ChatGPT every day for three years, spent two hours on Gemini 3. I'm not going back. End quote. The reasoning, speed, images, video, everything sharper and faster. That tweet alone shook the AI world. Good evening and welcome to Front Page by AIM Network, India's video first AI and tech newsroom, where we break the story first and explain why it matters. So if you find value in what we do, hit like, share this forward and subscribe because the future moves fast and you deserve to stay ahead of it. Now, back to what VC Jason Schumann added. Gemini is reviewing 450 plus sources for my research reports. ChatGPT might be, well, 10 to 15. The quality difference is night and day. End quote. Even Sam Altman, in a leaked internal memo, admitted that Google has been doing excellent work recently in every aspect. End quote. A rare acknowledgement that OpenAI is facing real competitive pressure. AI researcher Stefan Schubert pushed back. I don't find Gemini 3 as impressive as the rumors. It's good, but not knocking out ChatGPT. End quote. This is the classic internet moment. Two people use the same model, two different realities. So what's actually true? Let's find out. People are asking how Google jumped so far ahead. The answer is, well, surprisingly simple. Pre-training plus post-training. As shared by Vice President of Research and Deep Learning Lead at Google DeepMind and Gemini co-lead, Oriol Vinyals, let us first examine the pre-training. Despite all the noise that scaling is over, Google proved the opposite. The leap from Gemini 2.5 to Gemini 3 is one of the biggest jumps the DeepMind team has ever delivered. No walls, no slowdown, just raw capability gains. On the post-training front, still a wide open frontier. Google's team squeezed massive improvements here too. New algorithms, better alignment, smarter tuning. That's where a huge chunk of Gemini 3's sharpness actually comes from. And then Demis Hassabis summed it all up in one line. The real secret is world-class research and world-class engineering and world-class infrastructure, all working together with relentless focus and intensity." End quote. That explains why even Sam Altman in a leaked internal memo said, Google has been doing excellent work recently in every aspect. And if that wasn't enough, even Somit Chintala, the creator of PyTorch, who recently joined Mira Murati's Thinking Machines, said something nobody expected. He said that the Gemini 3 moment feels closer to GPT-4 than anything in recent times. OpenAI around GPT-4 looked invulnerable and Google looks invulnerable now with Gemini 3, which is TPUs plus Android plus Chrome. But the game isn't over. Anthropic quietly dominates code and lived experiences will determine the end game. So what's really happening? Let's find out the part that no one is actually saying. So before Gemini 3 even entered the chat, Google was already gaining ground. Similar web data shows Google generative AI traffic share jumped from 5% to 14% in just 12 months before the Gemini 3 launch. A threefold surge powered purely by distribution, search integration, and early Gemini models. Now, coming back to how it works Gemini 3 works end to end on Google's TPUs, and this is the real plot twist. While OpenAI runs on NVIDIA GPUs and leases compute, Google is training, serving, and scaling Gemini on its own TPU stack, Ironwood, V5 
5e v4 all in house it's the first time a frontier model is beating competitors without nvidia so what if google starts selling tpus widely and drops prices the nvidia era cracks the price war begins compute becomes a commodity this is most likely why buffett dropped 4.3 billion dollars into alphabet a bet on google's vertically integrated ai stack which is not a random portfolio play google controls the full funnel and this is the scary part for competitors research to chips to cloud to search to android to youtube to gemini to chrome which is one company one distribution billions of users open ai on the other hand it has chat gpt the world's most beloved chatbot but relies on microsoft for chips data centers cloud revenue surface distribution google as we know has none of these dependencies and with gemini 3 inside search ai mode on day 1 google flipped the switch on its biggest weapon india which is the first mass market gemini 3 country while the united states pays for frontier models jio is giving gemini 3 pro access to millions of indians at zero extra cost thanks to the google plus jio 18 month ai pro partnership so in simple words america gets gemini 3 as a premium india gets it as a feature this is why usage is exploding here not because gemini is perfect it still hallucinates still breaks physics still messes up details people are switching because its faster tpu optimizations equals low latency it's cheaper or free google can undercut every competitor so it's everywhere instantly search android chrome geo youtube it feels more agentic tool use browser control code execution and better reliability and yes some prompts genuinely perform better research depth multimodal reasoning long context so the question is does it destroy gpt not universally but for many mainstream users it feels like the first model that actually challenges chat gpt's dominance paras chopra summed it best google has a massive opportunity to eat nvidia's lunch train on tpus cut cloud prices push jacks and the game changes end quote if gemini proves that top tier ai can run without nvidia the entire industry shifts and that's the strategic earthquake under all of this noise so we have reached that point now which is the front page take people aren't ditching chat gpt because google made a better demo demonstration they're switching because google finally activated its full stack advantage on the chips on the cloud on the model on the apps on the users on the distribution chat gpt still dominates cultural mind share but gemini now dominates infrastructure control and we are watching it happen in real time so we would like you to please let us know if you have switched or are you staying with chat gpt Thank you.